Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Monkey Around Reviews. Today, we have a B-topper moving light. This can be done with DMX control, or it can be done by just voice activation. It actually has, it says seven, eight watt RGBW LEDs in this fixture, so it's gonna put out a good amount of light. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's inside. So it's a pretty big box. Foam covering, and it goes right into the light. So we'll pull this thing out so we can see it. So this light is actually a nice size light. It's just under a foot tall, and it's got some good weight to it. Um, so when you put this on the ground, it's going to not want to move around when the light's actually doing its thing. It comes with a mounting bracket, so you can actually mount this on truss upside down. It'll connect in down here with these screw holes. A power cable. And the instruction manual. Now right here on the front you can see the LEDs. It's got a full motion in the uh, tilt and pan. On the back here you can plug in your power, your DMX in and your DMX out. And then here on the other side it's going to be the panel that shows you the menu in the DMX channel and all the other information for when you're in manual mode. So let's go take this to a dark area, plug it in, and see what it can do. Alright, so we're now in a hallway where we have a little bit of light so you can still see me and the light, but it's dark enough that you're going to be able to see how this light works and that it's actually pretty bright even with some lights on. So it defaults on into DMX mode. So when we hit this mode button here, it's going to show D001, which is channel 1 for DMX. Now we're going to want to take this into manual mode to show you how it works. So we're going to hit this button again to take it out of DMX mode and put it into mode select mode. That says NAFA and we hit enter. Now it defaults into fast. So you're going to see this move around doing its own panning and tilting and color changing at a very fast speed. This is nice that you can just kind of leave it alone and kind of let it do its own thing. If we go back in here and we switch it from fast, we can go to in ASL and it moves it to a slower mode. So it's doing the same effects but at a much slower pace. And if we switch it again to NSTS, it's now sound activated. So when I stop talking, it stops. And when I talk, it moves. So as music is going, this will move to the music changing its location and its color. For example, but now I'm going to put this back into DMX mode. I've named it DMX1. I'm going to plug in my board. And now we're set up. Now this has two different options, a 9 channel and a 14 channel. And if you look at the manual, it'll actually give you the 9 channel listings which is just your X and your Y axis and your red, green, blue, and white control as well as strobing. Uh, but if you go to your 14 channel, it lists all that, but it gives you pan, pan fine, tilt, tilt fine, speed control, and a lot of color assortments. So you have a lot more control with the 14 channel. But for this example, I'm just gonna use the nine channel. So I'm gonna bring the board over here and I already have it set up. Now right now, if I tell it to do channel one, that's gonna be the X axis. So you're gonna see it move around. So I can choose its position by wherever I put my, put my fader. Same thing for channel two, which is the Y axis. So you can see that the Y is going up and down. So now if I move these two channels together, I can position the light wherever I want to for my programming. 
Now if we move over to channel three, that's how you actually control the lights going on and off. Now by just bringing three up, nothing's gonna happen because I haven't chosen a color. The colors are in four, five, six, and seven. So let me actually move this light over here. If I bring up four, obviously nothing's gonna happen until I bring up three with it. So there's your red. Let me move this a little bit out of the way so you can see it better right to where I want it. So there's your red on and off, your green, your blue, and your white. So these LEDs do have all four colors, RGBW, inside of the LEDs. So obviously you can bring up the red and the green and the blue and get your white, or you can get pure white. You can also mix any color you want by just changing the value. So now when you come to three, right now I have it all the way up, which is power on. If I bring it down a little bit, it's going to go into a strobe. And I can actually control the speed of the strobe. And if I go just outside of the strobing, it's going to go back into being on where I can control the dimmer. So there's high and there's low. So you can do everything with channel three. Now that leaves you channel eight, which is a speed control. So if I'm gonna start moving around the head, you can start seeing the speed it's moving around at. If I move eight, it's gonna let you be able to slow down that movement. So once again, giving you all the control you need to be able to program what you want this light to do. So with the DMX control, this light becomes a professional acting light while still giving you manual control by taking away the DMX and going into sound activation or auto mode. And that's as simple as going back into the menu, switching from DMX back over to NAFA and then finding the one that says fast or slow or sound activation and doing what you want it to do. So once again, I've just hit a few buttons and it's in automatic mode again without even doing anything by the DMX board. I can actually just unplug this and it's still doing what it's supposed to be doing. So once again, this is the B-topper moving headlight that can be controlled either with DMX or manually with the buttons in the menu system. It's got seven eight watt RGBW LEDs, which as you can see puts out a lot of light and a room here that actually still has a light on above my head so you can see the actual fixture and myself. I hope you've enjoyed this review. This is Monkey Around Reviews. If you have any questions or just want to make a comment, leave one below. And also, don't forget to subscribe.